In my opinion, these new provisions meet the definition of kicking a man while he is down. It also brings to mind the message of Paul found in Galatians 6 2. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. I support the governor's veto of HB 392 and respectfully ask you to join me in voting no on override. Thank you. Now, we can come back and pass a bill in a short session or in the next long session and get it right. But the many problems that Dr. Fulgham pointed out won't go away because someone says, well, let's override the governor's veto. On this one, the governor is right. We should support his veto. We added in, in the Senate side, one of the provisions of what establishes reasonable cause or reasonable suspicion. It says if you have a record in the last three years. Well, I've decided to take some look at that, and I can't for the life of me figure out why, because someone once did something wrong within the last three years, that that alone gives rise to reasonable suspicion to then have them drug tested or record checked. We all make mistakes. And their only mistake at this point, as far as we know, is being poor. Not something they chose to do. If you vote against this override vote, you're saying those illegally using drugs are okay to continue receiving benefits. If you vote against this bill, you're saying that government agencies should remain in their silos and not cooperate to keep us safe. I urge you vote for the bill. And to imply that my opposition to the bill is based on my liberal attitude of supporting drug use is just not accurate. I do not think it is healthy, it is deadly, it is counterproductive to a productive individual supporting their family, and I think the current system uh, demonstrably works very well. And my only puzzlement here is why we're trying to change a system that seems to be working just as well as it can be. And I'm certainly uh, aware of the fact that the governor's Executive Order 21 implemented the first part of the bill involving fleeing felons, probationers, and parolees. So I just don't think this is a useful addition to the law. And that's why I'm, I'm supporting the governor's veto. Question before the House is the passage of the motion. It's the motion to pass House Bill 392, notwithstanding the objection of the governor. All in favor, vote aye. All opposed, vote no. The clerk will open the vote. The clerk will lock the machine record the vote. 77 having voted in the affirmative and 39 in the negative. The motion passes. The Senate will be so notified by special message.